After that very lucky win we had last time away at Hibernian, things have started to improve and things are going a little better. But without intervention from the board, we are going to have to make some smart decisions and we are have to going to play some smart football on the pitch. And as the transfer window comes to a close, we still have one or two signings that we still need to make. Let's go and kick some balls. Hello and welcome back to The Road to Glory, part 48, season 6, here at Livingston. And today we have two games for you. We're going to be playing at home to Sion in the second leg of the Europa League playoff. And then we will see out the transfer window and follow that with a game against St Johnston in the Scottish Premier. But if you are new to the channel, then why not subscribe, like, watch and comment, help the channel to grow and help us to support that very, very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling above. But just before we move into today's video, I do have to apologize. I am having to go back, I think, to just one video every other day. They are keeping me on a very short leash. I have a lot of appointments to attend and it's also quite tiring for me. So I think in view of what's going on at the moment, it probably is prudent to just go back to doing one video every other day. I know it means that you will lose one video a week and I do apologize. And I just want to say to all of you, thank you very much for your patience and your understanding. But first, let's jump in and have a look at what's happened in the transfer window. And we have, as you can see, got some contracts out there. We had a contract rejected from Dylan Levitt, 26 year old, uh, playing for Dundee United. I really wanted to get Dylan Levitt in. He's a very, very good player who I've known from my Swansea saves last year. But unfortunately, he's rejected the contract that we offered him. But we have got our Italian connection continuing <laughs> in during this save. We've got an offer out for Giuseppe Fontana, who looks to me like a very decent young footballer and good physicals. He's got very decent mentals for his age. And he's quite technical, good first touch, good technique. So I'd love to have him as part of the squad as a young 18-year-old backing up the first team. I think he'd be a very decent signing if we can get him in on loan. And then we have a loan offer out there for Carter Whittaker, who plays for Hearts. And he is also a central midfielder, looks the business to me, and has some very decent mentals and physicals. He's also a very good technical player, and I'd like to get him in as part of the squad. And by bringing in those two midfielders, it is possible that then we can move James Sweet back to fullback. And James Sweet, who is a mid playing for us in midfield, he's a very decent fullback. And in terms of things that have happened, nothing has happened in terms of transfers out. But we have continued with the Italian connection and we have signed Vincenzo Frezza on loan from Napoli and he is a 19 year old striker and we needed someone who could put pressure on Anderson when Anderson goes to sleep for those periods of time and we have to put him on the bench. This is a young forward who looks like a very decent player for the future to me who will come in and put pressure on Anderson. And so things are looking a little bit better in terms of the squad. And I am hopeful that by the end of the window, we'll have put together a good squad of 24 or 25 players that can go into the group stages of Europe and giving a good account of ourselves. But let's just quickly have a look at what's happened on the pitch since you were last here. And when you were last here, as I mentioned previously, you saw us with that very fortunate last minute victory against Hibernian by three goals to two in the Premiership. And we followed that up with a very comfortable League Cup second round victory against Aberdeen. That was followed by our first leg playoff in the Europa League. And we beat Sion away by three goals to two, a game in which we played our reserve team who did extremely well and you'll notice that on his debut Freza scored twice in that game and had a very very good game indeed and so he's made a great start to his time here at Livingston. We won't ever be able to afford to buy him but it's nice to have him as backup so that he can be putting pressure on Anderson and he will be playing again today against Sion and if he plays well who knows we may be seeing him again against St Johnston later. 
And so that is the plan for today. We will begin by playing this game against Sion and hopefully we'll be able to put them away quite nicely. We're going to play a rotated team again and hopefully it's going to be a team strong enough to get us through to the group stage. I will then play the game against Inverness off camera and then we'll come back after the transfer window has shut and we will then play the game against St Johnston. So it is a packed programme. Let's get on with it today. Let's go and kick some balls. And so the team for today is Bentley in goal with Devlin, Obele, Murphy and Beck at the back with Bowden, Sweet and McKinnon in midfield. Moylan, Henderson and Fraser will play up front. It's a game we should win this. It is a rotated team. It is a weakened team that I am putting out there today. But it is still a game that we should win. And that's what I have to go and tell them. We're favourites for a reason. And we need to get out there and win this football match. And let's get into the group stages of the Europa League. And it'll be a phenomenal achievement. We've been here for a year now. We've got them into the playoffs of the Europa League. And we should be getting into the group stages but it is a chance for Sion and they have headed over the crossbar it's as I've said it's a weakened team that we've got out there they're going to be coming at us I've decided to use a low block in order to prevent them from getting too many chances just inside the penalty area and it's going to be a little bit of a more cautious approach, I think. And here is Obele. Obele, he's looking for Bentley at the back. And Bentley now, just play it out nicely, but he decides to shunt it up the pitch to nowhere in particular. And here are Sion. And Sion are looking to bring it forward. And I'm wondering if, because we are playing this low block, whether I should come off the press a little bit. But we'll leave it for now. And here is Beck. Beck at the back. He's looking to bring it forward. Can he find support? Beck, who's coming in for Penrice. Penrice hasn't had the best of starts. And here's Sweet. Sweet turns in the box. And is he fouled there? Come on, referee. That looked like a foul to me. And he's put it back to Bowden. And Bowden's shot whistles over the crossbar. It did look to me there like Sweet was being held in the penalty area. The referee decided not to give it it still remains nil nil we're still ahead in the tie by that single goal and here comes Sion again but we've taken the ball off them it was a very good tackle as he dumped Fafana onto the floor it's still Sion though it's a bit of a worry they are coming at us I perhaps think I need to push the lines up a little bit further, prevent them coming at us. And they are looking to get down that right-hand side. And here they are on the edge of the box. Do not foul him there. And he comes inside looking for a cross, and they've hit the crossbar. And I am going to make a change. I think we're going to push the line up a little bit. Um because I think we're probably going to be more effective pressing them high up the pitch. But we do have the ball, and we've won the ball back. And it still remains nil-nil. Sion are the better team at the moment, we, but we are putting out a very weakened team. I want to win the game against Inverness so that we can keep up the pressure in the Premiership. And so I have put out... Um, a little bit of a weakened team and Fraser has picked up a knock I believe and I think we probably need to replace Fraser and bring on Anderson Anderson owes us a big game because he's been again out of form a little bit and um, I think we're just going to be telling him um, well, I'm far from pleased this is not good enough get out there do a lot better in the second half and you can see from the match momentum that Sion are dominating the game and also in terms of chances. Um, but we are doing a little better in the second half looking at the stats, but nowhere near good enough. I think it's time to make some more changes. And we'll do that. Every time I do that, there's another highlight. We'll do that after the next highlight. And there's a long kick upfield by Bentley. We have won the ball in midfield. Anderson to Henderson. Henderson finds Bowden. Bowden to Obele. Obele inside to Murphy across the field. Murphy's got to look for support. It's all a bit very laboured, a bit very slow. And here's Moylan. Moylan looking into space for Henderson, but that's a poor ball and easily 
cut out by the sea on defence. We're not playing very well, but it is a rotated team. I wasn't expecting to dominate this game. Um, I was like, ho just hoping that we can just sneak this with a 1-0. But Sion are coming forward. They are in space, and that is a curler that goes just wide. We do need to be careful. I do now need to make some substitutions. But we do have a free kick, and we will do it as soon as this free kick is over. Here is Henderson over the ball. Can we sneak one in here? Henderson with the drive, and Henderson has scored from the free kick. That makes it 4-2. I think we've been very fortunate so far I did have faith that we were good enough even the reserves were good enough to beat this Sion team and it is now 1-0 4-2 on aggregate and we're doing enough to get through to the group stages I think and so we have made a couple of changes with some very very tired players out there and if we can just hold on to this 1-0 now I'll be very happy that should put us through and here is a throw in and it's Fitzwater with the throw Fitzwater looking to get across him that's a very very nice little ball around the corner comes back to Fitzwater across the box he can't get it across the box Moylan heads it straight to the goalkeeper and it's still 1-0 we're still in control of this tie McKinnon McKinnon looking for Henderson Henderson can't do well enough with the ball but we've won the second ball and here's Sweet Sweet looking for Moylan Moylan outside to Penrice Penrice who's driving down the left can he get across into the box we have number in the box it comes to Henderson and Henderson has a chance and he's put it over the crossbar and Henderson's not made the best start to the season either he keeps doing that James Sweet has is got himself very tired now and so we just need to see this game out I'm happy with a 1-0 and I'm happy just to have gone through we've played risky football here we've played a very weakened team and there's a chance and it the referee I think has given a penalty we have been given a penalty I think there was a foul in the box checking just checking the penalty and the penalty has been awarded and this will seal the game late on and take all the pressure off and it's going to be, who's it going to be? I'm not quite sure who will be stepping up to take this now with all the substitutions. We shall see. Uh, there is a bit of a delay. It is going to be Obele to step up. Can he make it 2-0? Yes, he can. It's Livingston 2, Sion 0. Our run of form continues. Our second team has done very, very well to win this game 2-0. We were under the cosh a little bit early on, but we've come back and we have managed to actually dominate the game in the second half. And we deservedly win by two goals to nil. It was a good decision to rest players and just going to tell them that's how you do this. And uh, well, well done. Um, we've done extremely well to get through and Livingston win the Europa League playoffs and that's the headline that we wanted to see and so our good form continues and we have gone on this run throughout August and I would like to keep this going now I will play against Inverness off camera we'll finish off the transfer window and then we will come back and finish the episode with the away game against St Johnston and let's fingers crossed Hope that we are unbeaten through August as we go into that game. We'll be back very, very soon. And we have been given our fixture list for the Europa League. And it is this new format, which um, is not group stages anymore, that all teams are going to play in a single league table. And we will play Bronby, AZ, Leon, Anderlecht, Jablonec, Genk, Partizan, and last this it's a tough fixture list for the likes of livingston and we'll do very very well to get even in the top half i don't expect to qualify for the knockout stages there's some very very good teams in here so it's going to be very very tough for us and we're just going to do our best teams like alkmaar Olympic Lyon and Manchester United are considered to be the favourites. I'll just be happy that we don't disgrace ourselves in this competition now. We've done what the board want us to do. Let's go and give a good account of Livingston. Let's show them that we're a good team and that we deserve to be recognised. And so we are back and the transfer window has shut. 
But on the pitch, we have kept up our good run and we beat Inverness by two goals to nil. And that means that now in the Premiership, we are still in third place and we are a point behind Celtic and a point behind St Mirren after four games and there has been some activity in the transfer window and if we have a look at what has happened we did bring in Carter Whittaker as you saw and we brought in Giuseppe Fontana both coming in on loan and both midfielders which means that we can move Sweet back into a more right back role for the club we also then brought in a winger from Burnley Dwev Collins who has also come in on loan he's a young lad and he will make his debut today as we rotate the team in preparation for our first game in the Europa League so I think it is now time to go and play St Johnston let's go and kick some balls and so the team for today against St Johnston is a very rotated team. McNamara makes a start as Bentley has got himself a little knock and I need him fit for Thursday for the Europa League. And Devlin, Fitzwater, Boyle and Penrice will be at the back. Fontana, Whitaker, Omeenga in midfield. Collins, Martin and Anderson will play up front. It is a rotated team because I am aware that I need a good fit team for Thursday for our first game in the Europa League but I'm hopeful that this team is strong enough that it's going to be able to to do a, away with St Johnston and uh, let's go and put in a good performance out there boys and let's go and do the business let's bring home the three points here and, and we can possibly go top of the league today if we have a very very good performance Celtic are playing at home to Ross County I expect them to win but you never know with football manager and if we perform well today and we are performing well at the moment and we can we can put some real pressure on Celtic and we do have a corner and it's Penrice with the corner Penrice towards the far post it's headed clear and it comes out to Whittaker Whittaker who's making his debut and there's a long cross of the box he finds Penrice in acres of space and Penrice has driven it into the corner and we are a goal ahead it's St Johnston nil Livingston one what a beautiful ball by Whittaker he, to me, is a good signing and it has strengthened us in midfield. It was a very nice cut inside and Penrice totally unmarked. Acres of space and I could have scored that one. And it is 1-0. We are ahead. Exactly what I was looking for at the beginning. And it is, though, Boyle in at the back for Livingston. He takes the ball down quite easily, finds Penrice. Nice to see Penrice having a good game for a change. And here's Fitzwater. Fitzwater puts his foot on the ball, finds Fofana. And there's a long ball looking forward to Martin. Martin trying to close him down. He has closed him down. And Anderson has made it 2 0. We are totally in control here. And that was a dreadful error at the back by the St. Johnston defender. And Martin took full advantage, found Anderson in the box in space. And Anderson has put it in. We have unfortunately got Fraser on the injury table at the moment. Anderson needs to be in good form over the next few weeks so that we can maintain our momentum we've totally shut St Johnston down and they have not even threatened us at all and we have been the, the dominant team we just need to make sure we continue doing this and that we don't allow them back into the game which we have a habit of doing and it's headed away to Penrice Penrice driving forward looking for Anderson Anderson in acres of space can he get a cross in this people in the box can you get it into the box there's the cross Martin puts it in it's 3-0 we are totally dominating this game and this could be a cricket score if we keep going like this we could end up with a cricket score here and we are 3-0 up Anderson who's having a beautiful game today into the box composed looking for Martin and Martin at the back post side footed it in it's now 3-0 and what a what a way to 
respond. We are we are unbeaten except for Celtic at the moment. Celtic, I believe, are winning. But at half time, it is three nil, and I'm going to say I'm really happy with them. And we need to keep going and keep. More of the same. We certainly don't want to let them back into the game. We do have a habit of doing that. And I need to be a bit, little bit more vigilant. And here comes St. Johnston on the edge of the box. We need to be closing these boys down. I've instructed them to not allow them any space. And especially the central midfielders. And we have. And Whitaker has taken the ball. He's having a good game, a good debut, Whitaker. It's a long ball upfield looking for Martin. It's going nowhere. And St. Johnston are coming back into the game. And there's a long ball over the top. We need to do something, I think, because we're allowing them <laughs> too much space. And I might have to make some changes here. St. Johnston are a little bit more attacking. I'm going to go to a more balanced approach just to try and make sure we're not taking too many risks and there is a corner and it's headed away but it is all St Johnston in the second half and there's a ball into the box which Penrice has picked up finds Omienga Omienga looking to bring it forward and the highlight comes to nothing and we just need to be a little bit more cautious now and there's a ball into there is a chance here and Fitzwater has scored I think he might have been offside was he offside but there's no flag and it is now St Johnston nil Livingston four I think we can safely say that this is game over it was a poor defensive header that left Fitzwater free at the back post and we've scored another goal from a set piece St Johnston nil Livingston 4. I'm going to make some changes now. And so we have made a number of changes just to rest players who may well be needed for Thursday. And we are still dominating St. Johnston and we bring it forward and Martin. But Martin has lost the ball in midfield and here comes St. Johnston looking to break down the right. We need to just force him out wide onto his weaker foot. But he's made his way down the right. That is a good cross. It's into the box and they have scored. And I had a funny feeling that St. Johnston were going to score at some point. But it remains 4 one and it's highly unlikely that they are going to come back and score four goals um, but we do have to be very very careful and if they get another one I think I might have to just close this game down a little bit we are um, we are struggling a little bit in the second half but all the damage was done in the first half and with 73 minutes gone now it is again St Johnston who are bringing the game to us and there's another header that goes over the bar I'm going to shout at them and demand more this is like not acceptable that we are just folding here and we do have the ball though and here's Fontana Fontana is robbed in midfield and here comes St Johnston again and they are looking to break forward. They have found space and Beasley is bringing it forward. We do need to get a foot in and it's a good save by McNamara. It was a tame shot and it remains 4-1. It's hard to think they're going to score three. Um, I'm going to actually go to a more cautious style of play now. They are, they are dominating us and I just want us to take a little bit more care. And I'm going to now close the game down a little bit. And we will... Just make sure that we're not giving the ball away and that we're going to slow the pace down, come off the press. We will regroup and come off the trigger press a little bit more and I will pull the line back a little bit more just to try and hold on to this game. And as time is whittling down, we do have the ball. And here is Collins. Collins looking over the top for Anderson. It doesn't find its target. It is St. Johnston on the ball. And we do need to just, like, stop these, um, stop these counter-attacks that they are that they are doing at the moment and they're playing very well at the moment St Johnston and they do have another chance and they have scored another one it's too late we are still winning by four goals to two but this is a bit of a worry we, our players are not that tired and I'm not sure why this is happening it's happened in a lot of games Hibernian was one that you'll remember where we're just going into the lead early on and then just giving chances away St. Johnston have actually dominated the second half and deserve their two goals in the second half. I'm going to be very angry. Um, 
and I'm going to tell him I don't like what I saw and some of the boys are upset by that but that second half was not acceptable and we are still though in third place so still point behind Celtic and St Mirren St Mirren beat Rangers which is an interesting result and so far so good this season uh, looking at this 35 teams or so in the Europa League coming up and that is where we will go next we are going to Bronby in the Europa League phase league phase Europa League league phase <laughs> with a double league and we will be playing away at Bromby very very difficult game and then we will be playing Hearts Ross County Rangers AZ it's a mad period for us and we are lucky that we have a team a squad that can rotate now what I think that I will do is I'll come back for the St Mirren and Leon games and we'll see where we're at then. And I'm hoping that we're going to be still having a good season and that there's a lot of green in September and there's a lot of good results that we've put together. That's it for this video. If you are new to the channel and you like FM content, why not subscribe, like, watch and comment. Help the channel to grow and help us to support that very worthwhile cause that you can see scrolling up above. And I'm a very, very happy manager here at Livingston at the moment. Since we lost to Celtic, we remain unbeaten. Can it continue? We'll have to wait and see. But all that remains to be said now is I will see you in the next episode as we go back to every other day. So I will see you on Monday. <laughs>